Right, so this is going to be a Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, and as well Taurus Rising. Our weekly general tarot reading May 18th to May 24th, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a uh, personal reading with me, uh, you can check out the description down below, and there you're going to find a link to my website from which you can purchase a search. So without further ado, let's move to the spread straight away and the first one which represents the very topic of your week that is going to be the Four of Swords followed by um, the energies which are feeding and supporting the topic itself. Uh, we do have the Chariot card. Moving next is going to be the challenges that you will have to overcome throughout the week. That is going to be the Moon card <clears throat> followed by the Gifts and the Blessings that you get to enjoy throughout the week, that will be uh, Knight of Cups. Afterwards, we do have the impression that you are going to leave into the people around Taurus, that will be the Knight of Wands. And the last one, which stands as the guidance that Taro is offering, I have expected no other card than this one, by the way, that will be Temperance. So those uh, six cards and... Um, while that week itself uh, may be a bit more passive than you're liking, it's a very uh, important week because, um, how can I say, a, a, a very productive or very important, not decision, but a, um, a plan or a way through or a, a finding a way out, finding a way through is to come to bear. So uh, the first couple of cards that we do have, which represents the... Um, energies and the topic itself are the chariot and the four of swords so with the chariot as the energies uh, as the week progresses you are going to grow increasingly more determined to set the things right and to ultimately at the end finish the line all right or rather like you finish the race if you will because the chariot here points that uh, you are going to start paying more and more attention or address more and more those kind of aspects of your life and those kind of aspects of your relationship or of your career that up until this point you either didn't have the determination, you didn't have the will or you didn't have the courage to do it. And... Um, under the energies of the chariot, uh, it's highly likely that you are going to place the foundations throughout this week uh, on which you can step in. Foundations, I mean like establishing a plan or establishing a, a strategy here, doing what it is needed in order to predispose a further development and etc. etc. So the foundations which you can step on and actually succeed at the end so or to reach a success into the endeavor because those energies are promising you success even against all odds if you will but the thing is that those energies are very singular type of energies what i mean is that you will fail if you try to use the help of somebody you got to engrave your own signature if you will or you got to do the things your own uh, your own way here uh, throughout the week now, if I have to be more specific, um, should you lean towards wanting a relationship, for example, okay, with the chariot, uh, you can definitely find a person who will want to be in a relationship with you. The question is, do you want to? So deprivation uh, and being bereft is not going to be a problem throughout the week. The problem is going to be what kind of a... Uh, outcome you're gonna have once you know you identify your way out or your way through uh, being a success into career or establishing a, a well-found relationship if you will and that itself moves to the uh, situation itself that will be the four of swords here okay and four of swords is a typical card of inactivity now uh, where you just deliberate what should be your next move right and not just only deliberate but also seek a counsel um usually the counsel with the four of swords it's either with a professional help like for example if you try to if you are wondering how you are going to make a breakthrough into your business a business advisor or a financial advisor tells you what you got to do it's a bit rough you know and it seems against all odds but the energies are favorable 
uh, into that regard and you will be able to succeed with the endeavor uh, or it is a deliberation and counsel with somebody that you do have a great trust in it's very very faithful companion of yours it could be your father it could be your mother a very good friend you know your lover for example also may serve that and um, uh, the whole reason for that situation to take place is so you know at the end of the week how you stand and how far you can go with either your career or with either your relationship. What you got to do, you're going to be completely in tune with your emotions and with the logical unfoldment of the endeavor that stands uh, at hand. So moving next, we do have uh, the moon card. That will be the challenge that you will have to face here. And it's it's pretty typical for that follow-up. Pretty much the moon points that uh, until the end of the week actually takes place, you are going to be quite uh, uneased. Uh, because for you, before you establish the foundations we talked about here with the chariot and with the four of swords, um, the unfoldment or rather like the outcome of your endeavors is going to be anybody's guess and therefore with the moon card on a disadvantageous position you are to be prone to believe in the doom and gloom that everything is going to be lost you know you are going to doubt yourself you're going to doubt your partner for example you are going to doubt everything and everybody and that will be within your head now you need to know with the moon card it's uh, the only thing you go through that as a challenge is that you need to have a um, you need to have faith, let's say, let's say, or faith in the universe. Because the moon here points that you are on the right track with your career or with your relationship. You have already set in motion uh, what was needed to be done so it can chain an event that will lead you to the destination you need to be. And right now, those circumstances which are chaining from the previous actions of yours are now forming themselves. And because they have not been formed entirely, that's why you don't know what is going on around. And that's why, you know, the outcome, at least in your mind, it's going to be anybody's guess. And people who are weak spiritually weak and mentally weak i mean they prone to walk away they prone to abandon the path that they have cho consciously chosen and it's pretty much this is how bad karma is inflicted you know you are supposed to accomplish something and therefore you don't accomplish it because you are afraid and uh, it's simply what's happened so pretty much here the challenge for you is no matter what you do not deviate from the path that you have chosen, meaning the relationship you have chosen, the job you have chosen, the project you have chosen, the person you have chosen. Uh, moving next, we do have the gifts and the blessings, and that will be uh, the Knights of Cups. That is not a person, one of the rare occasions. Uh, the, the, here, the gift and the blessing for you, it is the gift of, uh, how can I say, fulfillment of the uh, fulfillment of feelings and fulfillment of dream in the sense of that ultimately at the end the unfoldment will completely correspond with your emotional state so um, you're gonna like uh, pretty much here the unfoldment oh my god not the unfoldment but the um, the gifts and the blessings shows that uh, this path you have chosen is following the dreams of your heart and ultimately at the end you're gonna end up with a wish fulfillment or dream coming true but uh, dream coming true it's a very obscure uh, statement in the sense of that uh, one dreams to have a family home with well that depends on the circumstances right one dreams to be successful in career what career well that again depends on the circumstances so we are talking about here of the grand scheme of the dreams and not the details of the dreams for example being with peter or working as an engineer you know and, and those kind of stuff you do have a dream to be successful you do have a dream to be loved and those gifts and those blessings are pointing that at least throughout that week you are moving on the right track to accomplish this dream and another thing about this card it is that um, the results that you are going to have at the end of the week are going to be completely reciprocal to the effort you put in so nothing will be left by chance and uh, if you are not pleased 
with uh, the uh, with the results at the end of the week that is the the, the truth is that it's because you you have not done what was supposed to be done you have not done what what it took to be uh, to be satisfied or I would say it that way you slacked so moving next we do have the impression that uh, people are gonna have towards you and that will be the impression of the Knights of uh, Wands so people are gonna see you as a very enterprising and a very youthful in spirit type of individual who is ready to do what it takes to reach the very end that is very important and this comes uh, as well from the chariot card um, and that's why I just mentioned into the gifts and the blessings that you may not be pleased, but it is highly, highly unlikely because your determination pretty much is going to lead you to the uh, th through the right steps of what you got to do in order to find yourself pleased at the end of the week. And uh, therefore, uh, as in an impression, people are to see you a person ready to not exactly to experiment, but to find a way of success career-wise or relationship-wise as well. And the last one, it is the guidance that Tarot is offering. That is going to be the Temperance card. So uh, Temperance here points to a couple of things as a guidance. First one, it is that everything is accompanied by chores and without attending to the chores, you can't get to the sweet part of the fruit of your labor. And the other thing that the Temperance here points, it is that there is more than one way to accomplish something, okay? And just because it does not happen, it is not happening through the original plan and the original anticipation of yours, doesn't mean that you cannot look at it from a different angle. And that's why you are going to have here the deliberations, the counseling and the determination to do it despite the setback you have may face at the end of the previous week. So that being said, uh, Taurus, this was your weekly general tarot reading, uh, May 18th to May 22nd, 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, if you're interested in a private reading with me, uh, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase such. And that being said, we may see each other around. Until then, bye.